Welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Campbell and today I'm going to teach you how to create a money gift box. Recently on my Instagram, I posted a video where I made my nephew a gift box full of money to start off his college fund and I decided I should show you all how to actually create it. Today, one of my students invited me to her birthday party and she's turning six years old. So I thought this would be the perfect time to show you how to make the money box. First, we'll need a tissue box. We need a craft roll. You could also use a tissue roll if you don't have a craft roll. A gift bow, scissors, tape, cardstock, paper or gift wrapping paper like this. And of course, you'll need money. Now, I decided to give her $20 because she's turning six years old and I feel like 20 is like a good amount. I mean, I know when I was a kid, even receiving $1 was exciting for me. So um, I think that's good. Some of my money is wrinkled and I'm going to just iron it out so that way it'll just be smoother as she pulls it out. I'm just being extra about it, but you could use an iron or if you have like an easy press like I have here, you can use that to iron it out. So the whole point of a money box is that people get excited because it never seems to end. And because I'm only using $20 bills, I want to put a filler in there so that way it could just seem like it's a lot of money. So I decided I'll use some post-it notes to add some color in it as well. And I'm going to cut off the sticky part. After you cut off the sticky part, you're going to take some tape and just tape it on here and get a dollar bill and then add it to the bottom. And as you can see, it's not even, so I'm just gonna use my scissors to cut it. If you just put orange and yellow on each side, you only have to do half of the dollar bills. So we'll do 10 of those. So one, two, three, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Now we're going to tape our pieces together. So we're going to get the piece that has the orange and yellow and then just tape it to the end of a dollar bill that's connected to the rest of them. And then you're going to just do a pattern. So we are going to grab a dollar bill that does not have sticky notes on it and just repeat the process until all of the pieces are attached. Now we have all of our money taped together. So then I'm going to just take my craft roll and tape it directly to the center of the roll. So now we're going to roll it up. This is how it looks when it's all rolled up. So we're gonna just place it to the side for now. Now we're going to grab our tissue box and we are going to actually open it up. I'm going to just take this out and then we are going to take off the top part where the tissue comes out. As you can see, it has the little um, plastic part right here. However, I am going to cut it out. I'm going to use my cardstock to create a little slot that the money can be pulled out of. I'm going to just put this down and trace it with a pencil. Okay. And then we're going to cut it where we traced it. So this is the perfect size for the top. Now we have to cut a slot into it that the money can be pulled out of. Oh, it has to be directly in the center as well. So I'm gonna just eye it right now, but if you wanna use a ruler, you can. Just draw a line right here. You can try to use scissors or an X-Acto knife. I have a knife with me, so I'm gonna just use it. And I'm gonna just cut the slot, the line that I 
just measured like this. I'm gonna do a little tiny rectangle the size of that slot so the money can fit through it. All right, now you wanna test to see if it will fit. Yeah, I think this is good. So now let's go ahead and test to see if it'll work out. Um, yeah, we can tape this part down. And then I'm gonna take my roll of money. All right, so we have our we have our money in here. I'm gonna just hold on to it like this and tape this part just so that we can see how it would be if it was actually closed. Okay. Now let's check. <laughs> All right, so that looks really good. Now that I know that my money will come out, I'm going to start decorating the box. So I'm going to just take my money out and re-roll it so that we can finish this project. We're gonna place our money back in here. I'm actually going to take this cardstock off and put a little piece of tape so that our roll does not move around. And then let's go ahead and tape down our box like this. So now it's time for us to actually decorate the box. So I'm going to measure this. I like this gift wrapping paper because it has the line. So I'm going to just cut here. Okay. And then we want to make sure it is nice and neat. And just wrap it around. Okay, that will do. And now let's cut it. Tape this down. Now that we've wrapped around the box, let's fold the bottom by Okay, so this part is tricky because we actually are not using this paper to cover it. That's why we have the card stock. So what I'll do is actually um, cut this down. And then, so that is, let's see. Okay, so we want to make sure that it is small enough that it will not get in the way of the cardstock. So we're gonna just trim it all the way down. So now let's tape this down. As you can see, we have taped all around, including the top of the box. So now we can Put our cardstock on top, just put it in the hole like that, or the slot. Okay, so then I have it like double, I have it rolled up and then just place it on here like this. Now that we have our box decorated with the cardstock attached to the top, we are going to now add our bow. So this bow has a sticky part to it. I'm going to stick it onto the sticky note like this. I'm gonna just add another little piece of tape so that it is just a little bit more secure right here. All right, so we have our box decorated with the bow. However, if I was receiving this box, I really wouldn't know to pull the bow. So I'm gonna just add a little note to the top that says pull bow. I cut a little piece of cardstock. All right, so I wrote pull the bow because 
I feel like that's the most simple instructions. And I'm gonna just put it here and tape it there. Um, and also I wrote it on both sides so that way um, she can see it. This is how it looks. I think it looks really cute. Um, hopefully we will see her pull the bow off and it will work like it's supposed to. So let's go to Before the party. Before we go to the party, we actually should put it inside of a gift bag because when she pulls all the money out, she needs somewhere to put the money to take it back home. And then I'm just adding some tissue paper there so that it looks really cute and ready for a party. Oh, no.